This is Bone Lab. With the ability to add almost anything to your game, and with multiplayer coming very, very soon, many are considering this game the true metaverse. Since everything in Bone Lab relies on real life physics to work, this leads us to one question and one question only. Pause. Bone Lab has an incredible campaign with a clear start and finish. Can Bone Lab be beaten with balloons? Okay, right, now to ensure that we're consistent, uh, every single one is forward. And so it starts, and I immediately tried to find a way to break the intro to the game. You cannot hurt me. After breaking the intro, I discovered that it made objects easier to hold if you attached hundreds of balloons to them. It even makes you fall slightly slower. This will be helpful in the future. Now we usually would just punch this guy to death, but since we can't... For the sake of the viewing experience, I'm gonna allow myself to use one weapon not to attack or to do anything else, but simply to pop the balloons because I doubt you want to be staring at this. This is gonna be an extremely difficult portion. So my solution is just... They'll never see it coming. In this part of the game, the elevator starts falling down. I wonder if we can keep the elevator up. You cannot. Now, not every puzzle can be solved with balloons, but every puzzle can be solved with balloons and some creativity. Ta-da! Okay, so there are a lot of Omni Projectors, which means it's gonna be ridiculously hard for me to beat this level. Oh, okay, there's one. A huge issue I had was that these Omni Projectors are actually extremely heavy, but as long as they're distracted, you can pretty much just continue the game without them even noticing. Hey. Okay, so theoretically, I bring somebody up to the point where they're going up slowly, but I wonder if I can do it in such a way that if I pop them all fast enough, they fall faster. Because I wouldn't be hitting them with it, I'd be just popping the balloons, which I'm allowed to do. Let's try it. Okay, we'll wait for them to reach the top, and then... Okay, so that does, in fact, work. Now, there's this part in the level where there's this giant trench, and it's impossible to complete the challenge because the balloon gun just doesn't reach that far. So I ended up having to backtrack, grab a trash can lid, and then... Yes, it's working, it's working. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. The ability to float up made this level actually kind of easier. Okay, now that worked. That worked, like, surprisingly well. I am stuck though. I was able to skip just major parts of the level just by simply levitating. Text your mom this like and subscribe and share if you also levitate. Man, shut up, man. Once again, there was another section that was mainly Omni Projectors and it was gonna be nearly impossible to just run by them. Can I just run? I, I can't, okay. I'm just gonna use this as a shield. Okay, that worked. Now there are these purple variants of the null bodies that shoot like these purple orbs that can hurt you. So the best way to deal with this is just to direct them towards another enemy. No, stay up there. I crawled through a vent and I found myself in the back rooms. There was another section with a bunch of omni projectors and a shield was nowhere to be found, except for one. I had to ditch the body, I mean shield, and then continue. Oh, yeah, this didn't happen. That's, he, it's gone. He's gone. Hello there. Oh, there you are. Tars, come back. You did nothing. You just shot electricity. Yeah. Oh, the street puncher level might just be the hardest level in the game for this challenge. Since you have to kill every single enemy, to do this with balloons is incredibly unorthodox. Luckily, you can just float past 90% of the level. The other 10%, you can actually just get this gun to shoot other people, or you can just get them to fall down the stairs. This concept applies to pretty much all of the avatar levels, so I'm just going to skip over them because the solution is just me floating over the level. And with the key from Jimmy, I was able to start the ascent. No pun intended. I can roll this by using physics. Genius. After an hour straight of immobilizing enemies and rolling balls, we were about to reach the end of the game. I don't know why, but I thought there was a secret door here and decided to run headfirst into the wall. Do I have to go through the vent? Beep boop. Give me a second here. Goodbye. 
Now there's a part where you have to outrun a train, and not a lot of people know this, but you can actually stop it. By throwing a metal box in front of it, it gets stuck on this ledge right here, and then you're free to just walk past it. That's really scary. If that box like deloads, I'm gonna die. And finally, I made it to the wishing well lift. As the music reached its climax, I was already there, hovering over the entire end of the game. This is it. The last balloon ride. And that would be the final ascent. Or so I thought. Hey, mind giving her a push? We gotta oh, be somewhere. I'll push it all right. Bye, Jimmy. Right, right. <laughs> We're still floating. And this is Jay with my new pal on board. 